So we've arrived at Acorn Bank. It's a National Trust property. It's got a beautiful uh, house, which unfortunately we can't go into um, due to COVID and only into the entrance where they have books. Um, and then we're just going to have a wander around all the woods, see if we can find some squirrels and have a look at their formal gardens. <laughs> and welcome and today we are in a National Trust property called Acorn Bank. Acorn Bank is a 13th century property that once belonged to the Knights Templar 2028. It was then handed over to the Knights of the Hospital of St John um, until 1323 and then it was owned by Thomas Dalston, a landowner who kept it in his family up until the 1930s. So loads of history here. So we're gonna have a little wander around, show you about and then we're gonna go look Squirrels. Mm. The view here, though, beautiful. It's stunning. Very fancy. It's got the wood around the uh, the frame. It's quite intricate, isn't it? With the shutters. Mm. I mean, it just looks like a how you would expect a mansion house to look, doesn't it? Really. Yeah. This is just something else, that fireplace is amazing. Yeah, it's all on the doors as well. It's lovely. Yeah, no, that fireplace is definitely for the Knights Templar, isn't it, eh? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Careful, there might be some squirrels up there. Well, let's hope so. I'm going to search for them. Are you coming with me? Yeah, let's go. Come on. Oh, that's a flower vase and a half, isn't it? Very fancy. The instant an acorn game. Now, look. Oh yeah, you're supposed to do it sort of backwards and forwards, oh, aren't you? Yeah. Right, so it's this way, does it? Yeah. Oh, oh missed. I haven't. Nope. Oh. 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 That was lame, wasn't it? Yeah. Fun, though. Yeah. It's quite cool, though. That knots and crosses. Go on, then. Oh, look at that. So cute. I don't think you'd fit in there, Ian. I see a fairy door. I see another fairy door. They're all pretty cool. I love them. They're so cute. Little fairy doors everywhere. Gonna give it a damn good try to try and find one. Oh, yeah. He's got his binos ready. And keep looking. I love all these trees. I would say that's a squirrel feeder there. So we should, in theory, see one, but we'll see. Well, no squirrels, but we have found a watermill. We're going to go down and see what that's all about. Ah. Oh, I can hear water. on to another little path where we're going to look for more squirrels. <laughs> Can you 
hold the ladder out so we can see it. It's like a little rope ladder. <laughs> Into the little house. Love it. Look at this beautiful little pond. I don't think it'll take my weight. No, definitely not. And after oh, that cake. cake, yeah, snap. Oh god, the pond goes all the way round. This is there as well, look. Oh, how pretty is that? Apparently there's otters here, Ian. Otters. Otters, otters and badgers, as well as the red squirrel. So you never well, know, we might see something. You never know. They need to do some housework there, it's a bit grubby in there. Okay, I'm through the little bamboo archway. Oh, wipe the nose. Oh, look at that. There's even a little bench in here. Don't mind if I do. This squirrel hunting is quite exhausting. Quite no squirrels yet, Ian. Robin in there as well, clicking away. It's a gorgeous little wood. Definitely would recommend it. It's a lovely place to come. What do you see there, Gigi? That's part of the wall garden, which we'll be going in in a minute. Oh, it's the cafe the area. So I think the squirrel's been escaping in there. Nigging the scones. <laughs> That's what it's been doing. You reckon? Yeah. Cute. And we found a hide where we can watch for some squirrels and birds. I'm glad we did bring those binos with us. Come on in. Get in there, son. See what we can find. Do you want all the birds that you can see here? So this is the Dalston Oak and it's 500 years old and when this um, estate was first purchased this was a mass of oak trees, yeah. apparently, and the owner at the time destroyed lots of them to try and open up his view, which you see from the front of the right. house. And this one is the last remaining oak tree from that time. So it's 500 years old, that's incredible. And apparently you can get inside there. You can. You can get in. I don't know if I fancy that. No, because you've just had that ginger cake. Yeah, it's good enough, isn't it? There might be bugs. Oh yeah, so you can. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting in there though. Oh, <laughs> but this little butte is 500 years old. Can't even get my head round that. 500 years old. Yeah. The last remaining oak tree from that time. Well, it's 
God, monkey boy. Well, I think perhaps the best thing to do is not fall off it. You reckon? Yeah. That's one of its limbs that you are just climbing over with no respect. I've got respect. I'm not damaging it. <laughs> I just don't like the look of the nettles. No, I don't like the look of the nettles either. Look at that parrot. Yes. Oh, there's someone down there as well. So is it down here, is it? Oh, she's giving birth. Is that what it is? Yeah. Can you oh. see it? We are currently stood in the top orchard and there are apparently over a hundred different types of apple trees here and they're all pollinated by the beautiful bees. It's very warm. We're now in the herb garden. Nice. Lovely. In fact, it's beautiful. So pretty. Beautiful. This is the sunken garden and apparently it was restored using 1940 photographs to try and get it back to its original state. Again, thank you so much for watching and please join us next week when we go to Seizure Gardens. Absolutely stunning, please join us.